Shalom, my friends! Today is a very special holy day in Judaism known as Purim and has something to do with why I am dressed in this outfit. I'm dressed up as Queen Esther who many of you know is the heroine from the biblical book of Esther. We dress up on Purim because the story is all about hidden things. Esther's hidden identity and God's hidden role and his work behind the scenes. The story of Purim teaches us that even if God appears hidden in our lives, he's always there. While Purim is a joyous and spirited celebration with lots of parties and gatherings with friends and family, the story of Esther and Purim also has a very serious message that's relevant for each one of us. The importance of each individual person stepping up with courage to fulfill his or her God-given role. We can only fully appreciate the salvation that took place on Purim if we first appreciate the courage that it took for one young orphan girl to step up in faith and bravely save her people. When Esther, who had been chosen as queen by King Xerxes, learned of the plot to kill all of the Jews in the Persian Empire by the king's own advisor, Haman, Esther was faced with a very difficult choice. Either she could remain silent and hope that the king would not discover her secret identity as a Jew and thus survive, or she could risk death by appearing before the king, revealing her identity and seeking relief for her people. As her Jewish cousin, Mordechai, reminded Esther, and who knows that you have come to your royal position for such a time like this. Like Queen Esther, God often places us in unique situations. We all have a choice to remain silent or to take a stand. And Queen Esther's stirring response, I will go to the king even though it is against the law. And if I perish, I perish. Perm also reminds us to take time to recall God's blessings and express praise and thanksgiving to him. Because when we pause in our daily routines to participate in this celebration and we retell the story, we are passing along the legacy of faith from one generation to another. And we remember that God is always there. God's name is never once mentioned in the book of Esther, yet you see him throughout the story, through the unfolding of this dramatic story of deliverance of the Jews from certain annihilation. The story of Esther is a wonderful reminder that even though it may not be evident to us, God is quietly at work in the world and in our lives. Although we may question certain circumstances in our lives, we must have faith that God is in control, working through both the pleasant and the difficult times so that we can effectively serve Him. So here we are joining together today in a great celebration, rejoicing in God's deliverance of His children and in Esther's courage to stand up and exercise her faith in God. In fact, we are commanded to rejoice on Purim it's right there in the Bible. On Purim, we are also commanded to give charity to the poor, have a festive meal with our friends and family, and give goodie baskets of food and treats to our friends. We all get dressed up and we read from the book of Esther to pass on the story and our faith and hopefully inspire the Esthers of the present and the future to take a stand in the name of God. In this world, there are no shortages of Hamans. We need more Esthers to stand up for God's people. Esthers like you. Happy Purim from our family here in Israel. Shalom, thanks for watching.